Good morning from the Caribbean. This is very exciting. I have finished my leave. I'm back on board Motor Yacht Loon and I'm ready to get back into filming some fun, exciting things for you guys this season. Today's drop-off day, we've just finished our first Caribbean charter. I didn't do much filming because A, these guests were really private, and B, we've been in some bars and they've been eating off a lot. The galley's actually been pretty quiet. Instead, I'm gonna start filming from now. So we're dropping off today, and then we're going to St. Martin and preparing for our next charter. We're gonna get some provisioning on from a new provisioner that I haven't used this side before. Very exciting. And then we're gonna pick up for our very first busy Caribbean charter in the BVI's. So each morning, because we're in port, I've been walking off to the Boulangerie because St. Bart's is French. They have some fantastic pastries here. Hi. Hi. There's two bakeries in the port. Uh, that one's the expensive one. So I guess the guest, I get the guest stuff from there and then I go to the cheaper one for the crew. I've got the goods. Now you can see behind me that Loon is alongside in St. Bart's. This is pretty rare. Normally the boats are all stern too, so you can get more boats in, but because it's quiet and Paul knows the harbour master, he has managed to wrangle us a spot alongside in St. Bart's, which I think is just the absolute coolest. I've never ever seen a boat go alongside before. Yeah, I think Loon is feeling pretty special right now. today and we are off to St. Martin. Really excited for St. Martin. We are headed through the bridge. The bridge. Oh, yeah, Tyler. Not, not about He's myself. so You're tall and hairy. Nothing right. <laughs> handsome, not hairy. There we are. Hair. <laughs> Captain Paul. Hey. Nice. Big day today. It is. St. Martin Bridge. Yep. <laughs> Tell us how wide the bridge is. Uh, 17 meters. And what's our um, girth? Brit. 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 <laughs> wow. Alright, beam. Our beam, that's beam. the word. Our beam. Our beam is 13 meters. Oh, you'll be fine. Oh, I have tons of room. But the problem is the channel, the bridge is cockeyed to the channel. Yeah. So it's a dog leg in it. So what actually happens is even though the boat is 13 wide, we actually don't go through it straight. We do have to make a turn as we go through it. Yeah, it narrows the error margin. Exactly. So, oh, okay. Um, we're only gonna have fenders on port side. Starboard side, we don't have enough room to have fenders on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> so I drive from starboard wing, so yep. basically the aim is to keep the boat as close to the bridge as possible yep. on starboard side, knowing that I then have room to spare on the port side. So, you know what? How many, how many times have you done the bridge before? I've, hundreds. Exactly, exactly. But, but not, but Loon is the biggest I've taken. Loon is it. You know, no room for error really. Oh, I like this. I like the excitement. I like the drama. <laughs> I like the drama. The moment has arrived. We are going through the bridge. It's uh, it's quite windy today, which makes it even harder for him. Look, I'm sure there's much better angles than this, so I'm going to cut to some drone footage now. It is 8.01, I have just gotten the flag up. It's morning here in Saman. Busy day for me today. I'm gonna to do some running around before our next charter. Hopefully get to a restaurant store and go get some dry goods provisioning. So, do you guys remember that lovely uh, dry store situation I set up before I went? Well, um, it didn't quite stay like that when I was away. So <laughs> now I'm gonna go provisioning and restock all these shelves because 
we're getting very low. Uh, it's really important that I don't fly this stuff in with a provision because it costs money for freight. Um, and I can just go shopping for it myself when I'm here, so. Mate, putting me in a shop like this is dangerous. I just want to buy everything. Oh, here we are, frying pans, that's what I'm after. So I'm in the St. Martin car for, and I gotta say, I think it's the best one in the Caribbean. Um, it's pretty rare to come across the supermarket so well stocked as this. So I'm really enjoying it. Today. Um, it's always a bit tricky doing Persian in the Caribbean because you have to get your orders in so far ahead So I think I placed this order maybe like 10 days ago So it's hard to think ahead what I need so as a result I actually have quite a bit of food left So I've tried to condense that as much as I can I'm now gonna give everything as best to clean as I can and then the new provisions will arrive We've had a little bit of provision drama. Not the fault of provision of it, more the marina and the logistics guys involved. It just got dumped, so the, the marina, their forklift was broken, so they couldn't load it onto the golf carts, which means it couldn't get down. It was just sitting in the sun for like an hour up there, and no one told me, which is just, it makes me really annoyed. So um, right now they're dribbling and driving it. We've got some more coming here. quite a lot. Um, I knew it was going to be a big order, but uh, do we have room for it all? Oh, I don't know. Like the fun guy, it's not mushroom. <laughs> he was really stretching. He really wanted to get that in. I did. Shout out to uh, Alex, our chief engineer, for helping me out. Legend. Legend. almost go time it's charter pickup day today and look fingers crossed I hope I'm ready I've got my last little bit of prep so I'm gonna get that done this morning and then I'll be ready for the guests to arrive so basically this video has been all about kind of what happens in between charters there's been the provisioning there's been changing port and of course for me just getting as ready as I can for this next trip so wish me luck hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video